Professor Sinha, Mr. Sinha, I don't see a son here, Nishant is he here. I'm here. And okay, Nishant is also here, your whole family is here. On behalf of the entire university, on behalf of all of you here who we heard, our officers, our faculty, our dean, our students, our well wishes, on behalf of all of them, and my personal behalf of behalf of my family as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. You have contributed tremendously to the development of our university, and I personally have no regrets at all having recruited you as one of our first professors of the university. You've heard and you've seen the appreciations and displays by different groups, largely from your own school, but I know from across the university itself, students, teachers, faculty, staff, they also want to come and take part. But you know, because of limitation of time, perhaps, and because of the, the size of the hall, so he's been limited largely to the school for the study of uh, School of Languages. You know, when we uh, were looking for faculty, as we have been doing, even now when we do that, that includes for all faculty even now, you know, we, we have come here, as you know, to start and establish a brand new university, starting from scratch. So when we're looking for faculty, it's not necessarily for persons who are academically brilliant. Not necessarily people who have very large number of years experience in teaching alone. But we're looking at personalities. We're looking behind a person. You know, we try to, even when you come, especially at a senior level, what we used to do is, we even when we have shortlisted persons, we actually even talk or uh, ask some feedback from the parent organization. That's what we do. You may may not be aware of that, but large, especially at the senior level. In junior levels, we, we leave it to what we do at the selection uh, thing, but for senior levels, we do try and get a feedback from the parent organization. And that's why we look beyond not just what we see there in the selection committee, that yes, the person knows their subject and, and is able to present and discuss what they know. But we try to see what has a person contributed early that for coming here. And what, what can that person then contribute by coming here and joining us in this university. And that's where, you know, when we, we also looked at him, we are looking at him not necessarily just from the study and learning and teaching of English language per se. As you're aware, he is largely from the theoretical background. He is going to production in films, in, in, in plays, writing about them, novels and such. So it was not just simply looking at a person who was competent in the English language, but behind that, you know, a person who be involved in building up people, nurturing them up, training them up, building characters, being persons. That's what he looked at. And that's why from the beginning, when we said no, how about starting different guilds in theater, in music, in, in dance? And I said, no, he's the best person to at least initiate this in our university. Because it was not just English that we wanted him to teach, but other aspects as well. We also knew about his interest and his love for people, for the youth. And so that's where we said, okay, how about him then? looking after the student affairs. And that's why he was entrusted to look after that. We knew and we, we did have experience that very often when there were some student problems or student issues, many of the recommendations that he made were not, not necessarily very, what he called administratively correct. Because it came from his heart, from his emotions, from, from his feelings that, no, I feel we should do this. It's not that this is the correct way, administratively, this should be done this way, which can be black and white. But when we have feelings, 
you know, a student is a child, he needs to be nurtured. You don't just do this like that. Let, let, let us look at him as our own child and let us look at him uh, at her also. From, from that point of view, that we always make mistakes. So let's try and, uh, let's try and correct and counsel the child rather than just like, let's try and rebuke the child or, or punish the child. You know, so sometimes these type of uh, advice uh, would be given from his side, which, uh, which some may have received well, some might not have received well. But by and large, we accepted his point of view. And that's where, it, it, even in the long term, and if our yes, his point of view is correct. And that was the correct way of uh, moving forward. And so it's just not, as I said, just not the academic side. It's a human side. You know, for, for, for the children, because this is a teaching university, meant for students, meant for the youth, and so our entire attention is their development. And that's why he, he has contributed tremendously, not just in the classroom, as we see, but across the classroom, across the campus, and not just within the campus, but even into the city, across, branch itself to the other parts of the country. That's how he's contributed to their development. And in doing so, to the development of this university. So that's why, you know, when we look at what has been expressed by different groups of people here, you know, others of us also perhaps can look at that and say, yes, how about me? When I leave, would my students also express the same type of, you know, feelings for me when I leave? Would they also express the same type of appreciation for what I have done for them? Would you also express the same type of relationship that they still would like to be bound to me even though I have left the official post that I retain here? Is that what will happen to me as well when my turn comes? So this is what I like you also to think about, but what the display throughout last two hours, the expressions that we have of, of love, of care, of, of gratitude. So once again, I thank you so much for being a part of the university. Thank you for enriching my life. Thank you for what you've done for our family, for the family of my personal family, the family of the CUJ as a whole. And in everything you do, your whole family, may God bless you, empower you, and be a blessing to others continuously. You have been, you are, you will be always a part of the family of CUJ, all of you. So it is not that uh, today, yes, officially on the paperwork and the file, it says yes, he has superannuated today, he has uh, retired today. That is the file. That's all. You know, it, it's like it's like a journey. Okay, I, I go from one station to the other. So okay, one station I've left, I go to the next station. I go on. But my life is still there. See, my life is still there, it continues. So your life is still there. You're still part of the family. So the, the doors here, the, the campus here, all our lives are still open to you, as we would hope that your life is open to us. So that continues. So thank you once again for everything. And bless you, bless your family, all of you. Thank you. Dear Professor Sinha, Alma as I call Mrs. Sinha, ladies and gentlemen and my dear students, uh, I feel that it will be incomplete if I don't express a word of appreciation, especially on behalf of the CUJ Employees Wives Welfare Association. <clears throat> as I remember Sinha, Professor Sinha, he always has a smiling face, always ready to welcome us and especially when we started our, our society, we had very little funds. And so we organized uh, some events for raising funds. And he very generously uh, donated 2,000. That was how we started our funds. And in many occasions, when we uh, wanted his help, he was always very ready to help and um, gave us very uh, useful um, advice and we know that even though he will he might leave us we will still come to you for advice and uh, of course mrs sinha she's she is our uh, vice president 
and uh, we thank you very much for all your support and your uh, suggestion, your help. Mrs. Sinha has been very positive, both the uh, professor and Mrs. Sinha, and we, we will definitely miss you a lot, but we know that as long as you are here in Ranchi, we will always come to you for help. Whenever we have any events, we will always include you. And thank you so much for all your help. And may God bless you. And of course, I want to say that uh, the few occasions that we had to uh, visiting uh, Professor Sinha, he was always ready with ice cream and coffee and always very generous. So thank you very much and may God bless you always.